spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. This episode starts with a flashback to the previous episode in which Sean demanded to Dr. Han be reinstated as a surgical resident. The next scene is when Leah returns home in the morning after spending the night with Jake and Sean is admitting he didn't go to bed. He tells her that he doesn't want to be a pathologist. Leah then explains to him that not everyone's life is like the one he saw as a kid, and he is still a doctor, saving lives in the lab rather than the operating room. Leah, like Dr. Han, does not understand him, and he determines as he walks to work that he will figure out how to change his thinking. She reminds him not to smile at her when they are at work. She quickly jumps back into the car when she spots Sean at the corner, ordering Melendez to drive before they are seen. They slink away in the car and start to debate whether they should come out of the closet with their relationship. On the surgical front, San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital Allegra hosts a press conference for the patient Kenny, who is flanked by Claire and Alex. They will not have to pay for the operation since Allegra praises him for allowing them to utilize his case for special education. Melendez rises to the microphone as Kenny permits them to roll back his blankets, revealing that his tumor weighs more than 100 pounds and that they discovered a means to remove the tumor in one piece, giving Kenny his life back. The team at the hospital believes they have the procedure to help the patient Kenny regain his life, but it comes with great risk. Dr. Murphy desperately wants to be part of the team in the operating room. Dr. Han meets with the group that is going to judge his doctors. They try to make it very casual, as Han says being judged is very scary, but he reveals he got rid of their horrible lawyer and got a private investigator to check out the judging panel. He taunts them, saying that he might not find anything bad, but rather something embarrassing. Han hopes they will work out a compromise with him over his doctors. Lim informs the patient's mother that the procedure went smoothly and that the tumor was successfully removed without any issues. Although she cannot tell when they may go, she will be more knowledgeable after she receives the pathology results post-op. She hurriedly gives Laura a hug before heading to see another patient. Meanwhile, Dr. Carly reminds Sean why they are in pathology when Lim comes to see if they can speed up the findings. Carly comes to a halt, indicating she'd rather not express what she believes and would wait for the findings. Lim confronts Sean about spotting him on the street this morning, and he reveals that he walked to work. He pauses for a bit before responding to her. Carly says they can't analyze outcomes and reminisce about the past at the same time, so Lim excuses herself. Glassman waits for his newest test results with Dr. Marina Blaze. She is as powerless as he is. She urges him to enjoy his emotions for the time being, but if he needs anything else from her, he has her personal phone number. He wants to thank her personally, but she believes it is unnecessary. They argue over needing to manage everything. Claire orders 60 units of blood from Carly, detailing the treatment they will give Kenny. Sean suggests some suggestions and wants to conduct more research, but Claire informs him that Melendez has assembled a large crew and they have everything they need. Lim locates Melendez and informs him that Sean spotted them and that they must act quickly. Melendez believes they should find out exactly what Sean witnessed, and he suggests speaking with Sean directly. A nurse approaches them and informs them that Dr. Han wishes to see both of them. Melendez is ready to reveal the truth to Dr. Han's officer when Sean informs him that they will not be suspended, but that the hospital will pay a fee and that they will have to attend some lessons. Lim defends Sean, reminding Han that he convinced the board that Sean is qualified, and Sean asks if this means he may rejoin the surgical team. Han just says, you're welcome. Carly informs Sean that they have discovered a serious issue with their tiny patient. There is a small amount of bleeding present in her scalp, and the only possible cause of this is a violent shaking of the patient. Sean claims it was caused by someone abusing her. Lim maintains that Laura would never have harmed her child in that way because her buddy is handling everything herself and even utilizing a donor egg to conceive. Lim is outraged when Carly questions if Lim would cover up child abuse and refuses to call CPS, stating that she wants to get an MRI before they damage Laura's life. Lim advises her to call another person to do the MRI once Sean is rejected. When Melendez runs into Sean in the break room and tells him he doesn't have a girlfriend, Sean replies that this is consistent with what he has seen in his life. Melendez is pleased to see that Sean responded by saying yes. While carrying out Kenny's scans, Claire rants to Morgan and Alex. She wants to organize a walkout, but Morgan believes there shouldn't be any sentiment, altruism, or allegiance attached. Han must start with the greatest squad they have. As Claire explains that they must page Melendez, Alex halts them by stating that the scan isn't good. Lim tells Laura about the additional tests she ordered and asks whether she had ever left her child in the hands of others, not even to take a bath. Laura argues that after all this time of desiring her, she doesn't grow bored of rearing a child. She claims that when you love someone this deeply, the tests must be incorrect. Lim wonders whether she's ever exhausted. Kenny doesn't care how dangerous it is. He'd rather die than live with this living tick draining the life out of him. 
Melendez claims that as long as his heart beats, he will be healthy and the pain will be controlled. Kenny does not want a pain reliever. He wants to get healed and regain control of his life. He is irritated because they are now telling him there is no hope. As the doctors gaze at one another in despair, he praises them for everything they attempted. Leah compares Sean to a detective in a murder case, but the baby isn't dead while they eat supper together and Sean discusses the maltreatment of the infant. He claims that Carly expressed the same sentiment, that she enjoys deciphering medical puzzles, treats him well, and thinks they work well together. If that's the case, Leah suggests that pathology would be a good fit for him. Neil believes that since Lim and he will be working together, they should reveal their connection at dinner. Lim thinks they aren't prepared for this talk since she believes they wouldn't be having it if they didn't fear Sean was going to expose them. They can communicate with one another, but Lim believes they shouldn't give a damn what their co-doctors think. Instead, she suggests that they speak with Andrews. Glassman is still waiting for his food, venting to the staff that he is tired of waiting for his food. He begins to shout at the kitchen staff but quickly apologizes, asking them to carry on and returns to his seat. Claire talks to Alex about Morgan always trying to one-up them. He believes Claire should not take it personally, as that is who Morgan is. As they sit there, Claire seems to get an idea, but back at the hospital, Han tells Morgan he sees her, which he is sure was her primary objective. He tells her to go home because there is nothing they can do for Kenny and she will have new patients tomorrow. Suddenly, Claire and Alex rush in with an idea. Kenny eagerly agrees without even hearing the remainder of Claire's explanation of the strategy for doing this without causing him to bleed out since he wants it finished right away. Lim comes back to Laura's room with CPS, explaining that Laura has been told to follow them because the secondary results corroborate the first findings. She is friends with Laura, and she assures her that she would never harm her child. Melendez instructs Claire on how to perform procedures in the operating room, but as soon as Han compliments Claire's work, the statistics alarm and they are told to maintain the levels or his kidneys will be destroyed. Han claims they have saved the operation, but they now only have half the time to complete it. Glassman meets Marina, who isn't rushing his results because he doesn't need them. She tells him that the finish line is close at hand and that all he needs to do is run through the tape. She pledges to follow up with this patient further, even proposing that he take medication for his anxiety, although she believes he already has this. Kenny had now lost eight and a third liters of blood. Sean believes the typical human body only retains five liters. Sean understands from the observation room that they should have looked for a breakdown. He isn't referring to Kenny and he runs back to the lab claiming they need to test the baby's samples again since it may constitute child abuse. As Kenny's heart rate begins to rise, the crew stops attempting to flip him over. They are able to turn him and he is now stable, but he falls again, his body going into shock. They swiftly analyze the condition and discover that he has a high white blood cell count, prompting Han to order antibiotics. Claire thinks they need to abort and Han agrees, adding that they are not giving up since they are attempting to help a sick patient. Melendez says they need to get Sean in here because he has a specific knack for dealing with blood flow issues. Melendez summons Murphy, but Han orders him to quit wasting his time. Kenny can be saved by having the portion of the tumor they have already had removed. The infant wasn't mistreated, as Carly demonstrates to Lim in their findings, the suction during the delivery was to blame. Sean is abruptly told by Claire that they need him in the operating room. Claire goes up and supports Sean when he describes what is occurring and claims that they don't have enough time to perform the procedure since it would be very difficult to entirely remove the tumor without killing the patient. Sean feels left out on the sidelines as Han thanks him for the consultation and they move back to Kenny's operation. Glassman is informed by Blaze that there were no tumor remnants found and that the MRI will be necessary in six months, but otherwise he is in good health. Even after she rejected his offer, Glassman breaks down in tears and gives her a gift. As she discovers a baseball, she refers to him as the son of a bitch and claims that he caught the ball at the third baseline on his 13th birthday. The only thing he has to recall that amazing day, and he wanted her to have something that important to him, was the entire team singing it, which his father had him do. He dismisses her before she can object again when she attempts to decline. She claims that cancer changes individuals, with patients informing her that their lives have improved as a result. Glassman calls those individuals fools, but she questions whether he would have thought of such a unique present 11 months ago. Kenny's surgery begins, with the team following what Sean suggested. Melendez hands Han the scissors, asking him to do the honors. They take the tumor away from Kenny's body, with the team nodding to each other and the rest of the crew cheering from above, except for Sean. Lim apologizes to Laura, stating she should have trusted her. Laura claims it isn't her fault and that she is the way she is because she doesn't understand the love a mother feels since she has never allowed herself to be vulnerable. She always expects the worst of others because that is all she sees in herself. This leaves Lim perplexed. Kenny said he has never felt so much pain, but his prognosis is great. He joked about bringing the tumor home in a glass bottle. 
Lim encourages Melendez to shut up, questioning whether she truly wants to do this. They head to Andrew's office together. Sean visits Dr. Han, claiming that he rescued the patient and that he deserves to be a surgeon and that he wants his old position back because he is making a mistake. Han says that he appears to be succeeding at pathology since he just helped two patients, and if he keeps up his current pace, his responsibilities will increase. Han demands that Sean be reinstated, but Sean declines, stating once more that he is a surgeon. Sean then sits at Han's desk and won't leave until Han does so. Han questions Sean's motives for bullying him, as he acts immature, lacks verbal skills, and has poor emotional control. Han states that Sean has a gift he admires, and that he will give him one more opportunity to uphold his dignity, as he reiterates that he is a surgeon. As Han announces, he must leave the office because if he calls security, he would also have to terminate Sean. Sean rises up and shouts that he is a surgeon. Sean pulls off his badge while screaming that he is a surgeon. In the locker room, he throws everything to the ground because he is so shaken. Sean gathers all of his belongings and furiously grasps the scalpel his brother gave him. When he breaks it and collapses to the ground, Claire finds him and assists in putting all of his belongings away. She sits close to him and stays still while talking to him. Sean exits the building into the rain while pausing to turn around and gaze back at the hospital. The end. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to Lion Recaps if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.